meet the needs of floor contracting in the building of the Detroit Marathon Coker plant, McCoy Materials enlisted the assistance of Premier Concrete Admixtures. Since Premier was not McCoy's current admixture supplier, a three-stage manual dispensing plan was put in place in order to minimize disruption to their normal operation. First, prior to batching, OptiFlow Renew, a hydration stabilizer, was added to the trucks. After batching, the trucks proceeded to the second station for slump verification and dosing of UltraFlow 2000, high range water user. Upon completion of the dispensing, the concrete was mixed for three to four minutes. Depending upon the application, a viscosity modifier may or may not be needed. In fact, the majority of the time they are not required. However, when pushing the limits of the pump height or spreads, they can be a valuable tool. For this project, Ultra Finish A1 was incorporated into the design and was added at the third and final station. Testing was done on site to determine segregation, air content, and spread. Segregation was evaluated using ASTM 1610, standard method for static segregation of self-consolidating concrete, using the column technique. The cylinder was filled, struck off, and allowed to sit undisturbed for 15 minutes. At the end of the static period, the top 6.5 inch section was removed. The concrete is then placed into a container and wet sieved through a number 4 screen. After a thorough wash, the aggregate is brought to a surface saturated dry state and weighed. The middle section is then removed and the bottom 6.5 inch piece is processed in the same manner as the top. The aggregate content of the bottom and top are then compared with an acceptable variation of 6%. Throughout the project, Premier was able to keep the results below 3%. The specifications did not stipulate the use of air entrainment. However, air entrainment was used to enhance the paste content. Spreads were targeted between 24 and 30 inches for the largest portions of the project. However, in flat work applications, the topping was reduced to 18 to 24 inches to accommodate finishing needs. Concrete was delivered to the site at a production rate of 175 cubic yards per hour. Including the boom height, the concrete was pumped as high as 140 feet.
The 70% slag mix was originally designed for the columns and beams. The results in the mass pours were a maximum temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit, with strengths reaching over 3,000 PSI in three days. As in most SEC applications, the forms were designed to handle liquid head, and when stripped, produced a mirrored finish without the use of any internal or external vibration. When used in conjunction with heavily reinforced areas, SEC concrete can flow up to 100 feet on average. It will encapsulate and coat all rebar without the need for vibration. Strengths are rarely an issue in the design of most SEC mixes. They routinely reach over 8,000 PSI. Because of the success of the columns and beams, Fleur decided to utilize the SEC mix throughout the rest of the project, citing safety advantages, quicker form cycling, superior finishes with no rework, and the overall ability to overcome placement challenges. Floor optimized their production schedules and experienced significant savings in time and money. The cost of SCC concrete becomes irrelevant to the savings associated with its efficiencies. However, it is very important to realize that SEC is a process, not a product. The technical expertise of your admixture supplier is critical, so when you're considering your next project, contact the experts at Premier Concrete Admixtures.